We're actually, I think, the only manufacturer that has a solution uh, under its own umbrella of ecosystem for a meter caller solution with uh, load management and generator integration. So basically, with, with this setup, you wouldn't have to do any MLP on the roof if you didn't want to. You wouldn't have to do any, any uh, a separate string inverter, let's say, for your solar panels. The A-Power S would handle all of that. If you're using a meter socket adapter, you're not sacrificing any of the feature capabilities that Franklin is known for through the A-Hub. The smarter way to go solar. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming to you from RE Plus, which is the International Solar Conference here in Las Vegas. This morning I'm joined by Tristan Cronshaw, product manager at Franklin Whole Homes, and we're looking at the new Franklin Whole Home system, including the meter, meter collar adapter and the new A-Hub. So Tristan, good seeing you again. Yeah, good to see you, Joe. Yeah, thanks for taking time to chat with us. Of course, so today we have the A-Power S, mm -hmm. which is our uh, multi-mode integrated hybrid inverter alongside the energy storage unit. We are working with two independent vendors for the meter caller, and we're also releasing our A-Hub, which is a new product that we're really excited about. So really the problem we're trying to solve with the A-Hub specifically is what happens when you're not utilizing the A-Gate and don't have the ability to integrate a generator, AC coupled PV, or have the smart circuit capability. So the A-Hub is an independent box that essentially has eight individual circuits, 120 volt or four 240 volt, that can be configured in any manner, generator integration, load control, or AC coupling. Okay, that's great. I'm gonna have more questions about that too, but let's start with the meter collar adapter since we have that sort of front of and center right now. We're seeing a lot of these solar equipment uh, vendors now in incorporating meter collar adapter into their, into their lineup. And uh, it's one thing I like because I think as, as a former solar installer, if you can do your, your grid interconnection right here at the meter base, eliminates a lot of extra work and a lot of risk for the installer as opposed to having to rewire the service, you know, service uh, conductors coming into the house. Of course, two major advantages. Avoiding circuit relocation, which we know saves a lot of time and money, but also CTs being placed at the meter themselves. So oftentimes CT connections are very challenging in the field and can be kind of a major pain point uh, once the system is installed. So we're solving that problem with the meter caller. With the A-Power S alongside the meter caller, this is like the easiest installation possible. Swap the meter out, your MID device is right here, and you have your PV inverter alongside the ESS unit all in one box. The challenge that we found is what happens when we don't have our A-Gate and the features that homeowners want, so we developed the A-Hub. We're actually, I think, the only manufacturer that has a solution uh, under its own umbrella of ecosystem for a meter caller solution with uh, load management and generator integration. Well, let's, let's take a closer look at, at the A-Hub then, because when I, when I think about the A-Gate, right, the A-Gate would do your, your 200 amp pass-through, 200 amp bypass, Correct. your smart circuit control, your generator input, as well as your ability to parallel connect multiple batteries. Right. So what functionality do we have here with, with what looks like a significantly smaller A-Hub? So the A-Hub essentially is the features from the A-Gate that have been moved into its own enclosure. So okay. as mentioned, there's eight 120 volt circuits, or you can break them into four 240 volt circuits. Uh, one is dedicated for generator integration, okay. but also can be used for load management if you're not tying in the generator. All of the other ones are available for AC coupling or load management as well. So it's basically like, you know, a very small span panel or some other type of load management at a fraction of the cost. Now, can this be used with a multi-battery system or would this only be for a single battery setup? So like this can be used depicted? with multiple batteries. It also can be used with the A-Gate. So if there's an existing Franklin customer that's looking to add load management, uh, you know, additional circuits, they can attach the A-Hub. But really the intention is it for, for it to be used alongside the MSA or meter socket adapter to give homeowners the ability to make a smarter energy storage system, right? That's what we're trying to focus on with load management. Yeah, I mean, this all looks very streamlined to me. Of course, with, with the A-Power S battery, you're getting your, your battery storage and you're getting your solar inverter all in one, one piece of equipment here. So basically, with, with this setup, you wouldn't have to do any MLP on the roof if you didn't want to. You wouldn't have to do any, any uh, a separate string inverter, let's say, for your solar panels. The A-Power S would handle all of that. Yeah, exactly. And oftentimes, uh, customers are concerned with a single battery for a whole home backup. So with the A-Hub and that load management, it allows for the system to be more functional in off-grid scenarios if you're only installing one battery, right? Because if you are using a meter collar, it's always a whole home backup. And 
many contractors will want to sell two batteries, but sometimes that you know, prices them out. So with the A-Hub, it allows a single battery installation to be very functional in an off-grid scenario because of that load control. Sure, sure, absolutely. Uh, now, if you did want to add a, an additional battery to the, the, the solution, how would, that, how would that tie in? Would we have so, to upgrade to the A-Gate or could we tie in a second battery right so here? So with a meter socket adapter, we can support up to four batteries. Uh, and those generally connect directly into the main service panel or okay. into some type of combiner panel. Because our energy storage system alongside the meter collar adapter are PCS rated or power control system rated, UL 1741 and 3141, the point of connection can be basically as large as you want. So you could have a 100 amp break or you could have 125. The, basically the generation sources can be as, as great as you want. <laughs> yeah. So if I'm hearing you correctly, then we, we don't need a separate battery combiner panel. We, could, we can backfeed multiple batteries AC output into the main panel Correct. because we're going to have this islanding device to disconnect us from the grid if the grid's unstable. Correct. So the Franklin system is PCS certified alongside our meter caller partners. So that allows for many points of connection. And it looks like you, you've got the one from Connector here. Are there any other meter collars that you support currently? We're also working with EQB, uh, or New World Energy is their parent name. Uh, they're currently being installed in California, specifically in the IOUs. So SDG&E, PG&E, and SCE. Uh, one major advantage of, Connecti, or sorry, of EQB is that they have a 100 amp tap on top. So to your point, maybe the panel is recessed, there's no additional breaker space, but you need to connect your DERs, you can land right on the tap there. Yeah. Makes sense. So we're trying to be as flexible as possible where, with our points of connection, but not minimizing the feature capability that Franklin is basically known for with AHA. So when, when will this be available for purchase by contractors and homeowners? So meter callers are very specific to regions and utilities specifically. So right now we are working with Connector and EQB in California. And Connector also is available in TEP and APS in Arizona. And they plan to roll out more territories across the country, but that schedule really is up to our, our third-party vendors. Franklin only supports the integration. So essentially when they're ready with the utilities, we're ready, yeah. Makes sense, makes sense. And what about for A-Hub? Is this currently available for sale or is this gonna come in, coming yes. soon? Yes, so the A-Hub is currently being installed. It's avail it will be widely available at the beginning of November. Okay. And this again can be paired with an existing Franklin system or with new installations. Okay. And this is available through through distribution, same distribution channels as the batteries. Correct. Yeah. Great. Great. Well, Tristan, anything else that the audience should know about the the new Franklin solution or upgrades to the platform, like the MSA or the A Hub? I think the major takeaway is that we now have our all-in-one uh, DC coupled battery alongside our AC coupled battery, and we have multiple means of integration, whether that's through the A gate or through a meter socket adapter. And if you're using a meter socket adapter, you're not sacrificing any of the feature capabilities that Franklin is known for through the A-Hub. Well, folks, this is a look at some of the upgrades on the Franklin platform here. Again, the meter socket adapter, uh, the, the new A-Hub here, and of course, the new A-Power S battery that allows you to do DC coupled solar direct to the battery without having to do separate solar inverter or micro inverter. So I think really gonna help streamline installations. Exactly. Well, folks, that pretty much does it for today's video. Um, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos you see on the channel, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new announcements and updates like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed so you can stay up to date with everything. But uh, Tristan, thanks for taking some more time yeah, to chat with us. Of course, Joe. Good to see you. And folks, thank you for spending some more time on the channel. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.